If you are having issues printing with the Canon TS8220 or any similar models, certain colors and printing or your colors are coming out faded, uh, this is the video for you. We're going to go into the solution and uh, give you some information that will be helpful to you fixing your printer. Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon here with Best Printers at bestprinterstech.com. Uh, today I am uh, going to be talking about the Canon TS8220. Basically, if you're having any issues, as I've mentioned in the beginning here, um, with printing a certain color, a color or certain colors or all your colors not printing at all, or your prints coming out splotchy, lines are showing up where they shouldn't be, uh, and anything along those lines or a general print quality issue, Today we're gonna to go into a solution for that problem. Okay, so without going further in the video, really all you're gonna need here is the Best Printers cleaning kit, uh, some paper towel that you would probably have laying around in your kitchen, and this, the instructions in this video, there are also instructions in the packaging of the Best Printers cleaning kit. So there will be a link for the Best Printers cleaning kit in the description below uh, anytime during the video, or right now, pause the video, go ahead and click the link, uh, add the product to your cart or go ahead and buy it right away. Uh, you want to get this done as soon as possible because the sooner you solve this problem, uh, the sooner you can get back to printing and uh, you won't have to waste your money on a new printer. If you have any questions at all about this process, make sure to comment below. If this video ends up being helpful to you, make sure to like. And if you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the rest of the video. Okay, so what you're going to need for this repair is the Best Printers cleaning kit, some gloves, and some paper towel that should be laying around somewhere in your kitchen, anywhere in your house. Uh, paper towel is what you're going to use to clean the printer off as well. Going right into it, you go into your uh, settings, go right to your maintenance, and then you're going to print out a uh, print nozzle check pattern. Now this uh, report here that you're printing is very important because it's going to show you uh, what colors are missing, uh, what colors you need to work on. And so you're going to want to keep this handy. So you can see here there's black all the way down to uh, purple. And you can be, you'll be able to tell here what colors you need to work on. You can circle, you can, you know, make notes so that for your future reference. So this is really vital to you being able to do this. So go back into your maintenance. What you're going to do is you're going to print another nozzle check. And uh, I'm going to leave the audio in here so you can hear how the printer should sound and you're going to be removing the power cable so once that is rem once you remove that uh, you should have free access to the print head uh, be able to move it back and forth you're going to want to remove that paper that you initially were about to print with so once that is removed I'm going to get that out of the way there you will have full access to the print head which is what holds the ink cartridges so you're gonna fold up some uh, that piece of paper towel you're gonna put it right under uh, slide the print head right over it so it's, it's so that the paper towel is under just like that and then you're gonna want to remove the ink cartridges now a few moments on the ink cartridges make sure you remove these but 99% of the time, the reason why you are having this issue, not printing a, being able to print a certain color, is because your ink is running too low. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for some brand new, fresh Canon ink remanufactured so that it's cheaper. You're going to want to get ink cartridges along with the cleaning kit. So speaking of the cleaning kit, if you haven't ordered that already, link in the description below. You absolutely need this for this repair. And now that you have access, you have everything set up, you will now be using the, uh, the report, the print nozzle report, to see what color you need to work on. You can match it up with the colors on the print head. And usually black is the main culprit for a lot of the problems that you have with printing. So I'm going to start off with black. So what you're needing to do here is if, you, if the color isn't printing at all, you're going to want to push the whole 20 milliliter um, fluid from the syringe through that uh, nozzle. You can stop at 10. You'll see here that I believe I stop at, at right at 10. 
Um, if it's minor, you can do 10 milliliters, but if it's really, really like not printing at all or very faded, do the whole 20 milliliters all at once so that it gets that, you know, so it's able to be flushed out. A little bit of a mess is not abnormal. Uh, this it does tend to be messy, so uh, don't worry if you do get some here and there. You can see they're at the end. Uh, the paper towel at the bottom of the print head should be able to handle that. So as you see there, more paper towel to dry this off. That's another thing. Once you're done, of course you need to dry this off, but really quickly, you can do this as many times as you want. You see me doing this once, but you can do this two, three, four, as much cleaning fluid as you have, you can do this. Uh, just at the end, make sure that everything is dried up. So let's see the paper towel there. All of the dried up ink should be on the paper towel and you can, of course, discard that. And uh, make sure, again, that you are replacing uh, your ink with fresh ink cartridges and you know stay on top of that because this problem will happen again if you don't keep fresh ink uh, ink cartridges in your uh, print head. So assuming that you've got some uh, fresh ink cartridges, you're going to go ahead and replace the ink and uh, you're winding down here. This is pretty much the end of it. Um, there are some additional instructions at the end here, but this is basically the gist of it, what you're going to use the cleaning kit for. Of course, now you're going to want to power the uh, printer on, uh, plug it back in, this whole time it should have been unplugged and uh, you're going to go on to the next step. Again, everything I've mentioned in this video, there's a link to in the description below. Okay, allow that to load, give it some time and uh, what you're going to be doing here is there is an additional step so that all of your colors come back to normal. You will not begin printing normally right away. You're going to have to go to your maintenance and you're not going to do a cleaning. What you're going to do is you're going to do a deep cleaning. Deep cleaning is what you're going to need to do uh, in order to bring all of your colors back to normal. Uh, and you're, if you might have to run this two or three times. It might use some ink. Uh, so you might want to buy some extra ink. But at the end of the day, you will be printing uh, normally again. I hope that this information was helpful to you. Uh, if it was, please make sure to like this video. If you have any questions at all, comment below again. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Okay guys, another opportunity I did want to make available to you is to be able to sign up for Amazon Prime. So they're currently running a promotion where you are able to sign up uh, and have a 30 day free trial. So basically the cleaning kit is sold on Amazon as well as some of the ink cartridges and everything else that I have in the description below. Um, so you signing up for Amazon Prime and using it for these products is going to save you some money. Also it's around the holidays and anytime during the around the year it's a good thing to have Amazon Prime uh, it's discounted shipping uh, no shipping cost at all um, so I do want to make that available that link will be in the description below for Amazon Prime of course all the other services and products I've mentioned in this video there will be a link to as well so look for that Amazon Prime link it may be the very last link but if you're doing your due diligence with all the information I've given you thus far uh, this should be a help for you